Welcome to Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. Happy holidays, everybody. This is game two of day one of the Creek Classic from Campbell University as the USC Upstate Spartans out of the Atlantic Sun Conference take on Bowling Green State University out of the MAC. Hello, everybody. Chris Haymeyer here with you. And let's give you the starting lineups first for USC Upstate meeting Bowling Green for the first time in this program's history. The starting lineups for Upstate looks like this. Malik Moore, he is their leading scorer. A junior at 6'6", 190 will start things off for Upstate. Mike Cunningham is the starter as uh, he is in there as well. Span is a 6'4", 187 five pound junior out of Slovenia. Ramel Tompkins is a senior as well. And uh, Carson Smith, check that Avery Diggs will get the start tonight. Diggs is a 6'10", 260-pound freshman center for USC Upstate. Here are the starting lineups for Bowling Green out of the MAC. They come in 3-1 and one overall. You can see Wiggins. He is a big force down low, making his uh, 43rd consecutive start. Dylan Fry has been the man for Bowling Green early as uh, Fry has had the winning baskets both with under a minute left in the game in the last two games. And Justin Turner, the leading scorer for this uh, Bowling Green team as they come in with five averaging, four averaging in double figures. USC Upstate, by the way, five in double figures as well. This is a round robin tournament. And in the first game of this tournament, an OT victory for Abilene Christian as Abilene Christian came all the way from the Lone Star State and uh, upset the hosts here in a thrilling game one of this tournament. Thank you for joining us on the Big South Network. As we are uh, ready to go from Campbell University, just about 40 minutes to the south of Raleigh in North Carolina. USC Upstate is in the black uniforms. Bowling Green is the home team and they are in the white with the orange and brown trim. That's Span. Nice underneath to Diggs. The big guy making his first start of the year can't get the hook shot to go. Wiggins is a rebounding machine. He clears the glass for Bowling Green. Caldwell with the ball up top for the Falcons. There's a look at Turner, the leading scorer. Wiggins up top, Caldwell from beyond the arc, too strong. Span with the rebound, traffic somehow gets it out to Diggs. Good hustle play early for Upstate. Span off the glass for two. And USC Upstate on the board. First ever meeting between these two teams. In fact, Bowling Green hasn't ever met any of the teams in this tournament. Koch is able to find Caldwell for three. He hits it. And a hot start for both teams here in the early going. Pretty good crowd has filled in. Some have stayed from game number one. This a arena of about 3,300 in its 10th year is a lot like the new arena they built in Bowling Green just a couple of years ago. You come in up top and walk down to the court. Underneath to Wiggins, good pump fake off the glass for two. DiMaggio Wiggins, the Toledo, Ohio native, with the bucket and an early three-point lead for Bowling Green. Span from the top of the key drains it. Yuri Span from Slovenia. He played on the Slovenian under 18 and under 20 national team. At the 
top of the key. Wiggins, there's Coke down low, the true freshman. Can't get the roll, Wiggins is there for the rebound. And Diggs able to pull it out. Knotted up at five. Span, unbelievable behind the back bounce pass on the mark to Diggs. Wow. An assist and a half should be given that time for Span. A spirited start to this one. No turkey hangover for either of those these teams. Bowling Green came in Wednesday night. USC Upstate State just from four hours down the road. Cunningham on the move. He'll stop and pop. Coke with the rebound. Caldwell finds Wiggins. He'll go to the free throw line. We can take a breath. And a good dish in to Wiggins as he will go to the free throw line. DiMaggio Wiggins. He led this team in rebounding last year. He had 22 rebounds in January against Central Michigan. That was the most from this historic Bowling Green program in 43 years. Wiggins is 73% free throw shooter, leads this team in attempts and makes a 69% free throw shooting team early as Bowling Green. He'll split the pair. And Bowling Green down one. USD Upstate, they're picked fourth in the eight-team Atlantic Sun Conference. Florida Gulf Coast, a team that Bowling Green beat at home last week, is picked to win the Atlantic Sun Conference. It was a last second shot that gave Bowling Green the win in that game. Right wing three goes down for Cunningham. Cunningham, a unanimous preseason all Atlantic Sun pick. The Washington, D.C. native puts Upstate up to their largest lead of the game. Good looking shot will go down for Daquan Plowden. Just into the game, he hits it for his first two. Holmes, a step back from the free throw line, goes down. Both of these teams on fire early. Upstate five of eight from the floor. Bowling Green three of seven. It's a four point lead for Upstate. There's Fry. He'll unload for the first time tonight and hit. Dylan Fry, the sophomore on the Mac all freshman team last year, had a game winning shot with one second left to beat Florida Gulf Coast and then escaping from a Division II team that they played earlier this week. He hit the game-winning layup in overtime. Digs down low, good looking move. The freshman out of Brandon, Florida hits it. He's 266-10. A mountain in the middle for Upstate. Into the corner, it goes for Turner. Too strong. Moore pulls away the rebound. And both teams will have to be on oxygen here when the first media timeout comes. Runner, too strong. Diggs there again. He's got four in the early going. Fry, good pump fake, and connects. Dylan Fry, something else, averaging 16.5 points per game. He's hitting 43% from beyond the arc, leads that Bowling Green team in three-pointers. Steal. And the ball thrown away down on the other end. That was Uju just into the game. 
mass substitutions waiting as we are still waiting for a whistle in our first media timeout. Tompkins up top. Cunningham. Good look for Tompkins. Can't get it. Scrum for it. Still no whistle. Still no media timeout. Seven minutes in. Fry one more time. Yes, sir! Fry is three of three from downtown early. And a media timeout as Bowling Green down five early. Thanks to the sharp shooting of Dylan Fry, take a one point lead into the first media timeout. 12.58 to go in half number one, game number one for both these teams and the Creek Classic. Listen, we've all got to make choices. If you're hungry and you got five bucks, you could eat this stuff that the meat, bean, cheese randomizer kieroed into a box. Taco Guacarito Supreme. Or you can get a real meal with a charbroiled double cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, drink, fries, and look at this fresh baked cookie. So it's a choice, I guess. <laughs> the $5 All-Star Meals. There's four of them, and there's no better way to spend five bucks. Only at Hardee's. What's the Big South? It's our home. Our home. Rooted in excellence. Built from hard work. It's our backbone. An undeniable will driven to surpass our potential. It's our heart. And unbreakable bonds. And our journey. Striving for more. Determined to lead. Day in and day out. This is the Big South. Where winners are many. Welcome back to Bowie's Creek. These two teams, it's been a odd coaching situation this fall through no fault of anyone but Kyle Perry, who was an assistant until early October, is now the head coach for USC Upstate. Eddie Payne, who basically was Upstate basketball, stepped down on October 3rd for health reasons, so he has had to come in. The entire staff just kind of moved up. On the other side of things, it's year three for Bowling Green's head coach, Michael Huger. Three and one is the best start in his tenure. He is a, a former Mac and Bowling Green legend. We'll tell you a little bit more about him and his career that led him here and back to his alma mater. They're off to a very good start as we're off to a very good start in this game. Bowling Green leads by one. And in fact, because of the good flow to this game. We're due another media timeout when there's a whistle over after the next 43 seconds of play. Fry on fire with nine points early. There's Fox, he started this program as a walk-on. Cummings takes things over. He's a true freshman out of Pennsylvania. Fry from way downtown. A heat check comes up a little cool as that'll be the first Mitch from Fry who was three of three from beyond the arc. Both teams going into that first media timeout shooting over 55%. Malik Moore up top. There's Smith just into the game. A usual starter on this team. Dig started for him. Holmes to the hole. Finds more, drains it. It's a two point upstate lead. Round robin tournament format will be playing at two and five tomorrow. Bowling Green takes on the host, Campbell. USC Upstate will take on Abilene Christian. And then in the final game in. Final games in this tournament on Sunday. It'll go to one and four. We'll tell you more about it when we come back from the break. It's Upstate 19, Bowling Green 17 here at the Creek Classic. At Bojangles, you won't find a microwave. Instead, you'll find master biscuit makers mixing flour and buttermilk, rolling dough, and hand-cutting biscuits before they go in the oven. You know what else you'll find at Bojangles? You'll find integrity. That integrity comes from hard work. And with all due respect, punching a microwave button isn't hard work. Head to Bojangles for a Cajun Filet Biscuit Combo with your choice of fixin' and a drink. 
Bojangles, it's bow time. You'll feel the pride. Hello, this is Matt McClam with College Seeds. One of the great things here at College Seeds is our meat department. In our meat department, we cut meat fresh every single day. We don't put preservatives or hormones in it or cut it out of state, ship it on trucks like our competitors do. So here at Carly Seeds, we have professionals such as Eric, which cut it every single day. So come to Carly Seeds and try the best meat in town. Thanks for shopping. Going to be a fun tournament here this weekend on the Creek Classic, and there's a look. Game number one in overtime went to Ab Abilene Christian, 85-80. Tomorrow, 2-5, and five, Campbell and Bowling Green will start things off. Then at 5, USC Upstate at Abilene Christian, and then the final day of this round-robin tournament, Christian takes on Bowling Green. That'll be at 1, and then Campbell takes on USC Upstate. All those games will be uh, right here for you on the Big South. Network free of charge. And early on, Fry from long distance, three of three. He erased an early five-point deficit. And Moore's three put UNC Upstate back on top. So far, Upstate eight of 14 from the field. Bowling Green six of 13. And both teams shooting over 55% from three-point land as well. So a good start for these two teams. You never know after traveling, after the Thanksgiving, day celebration yesterday but both teams have come ready to play this is a good tournament as far as coming in at least all the teams seem fairly close to each other as I told somebody these three teams four teams coming in can beat anybody and can lose anybody in the tournament high percentage shot for Wiggins as that goes down for the big man he's got five and for Bowling Green Upstate, rather, Isaiah Anderson, who just came in after that timeout, a little limpy, so he'll go to the bench. Diggs will come back into him. Both of these teams have a little bit of size and width down low. Tompkins has it deflected. Cunningham tried to walk a tightrope. And they'll say the ball stays with USC Upstate. Upstate comes in two and three on the season, but they had two good performances on the road at Minnesota to start the year. Lost to 15 by the Golden Gophers, but were in that game for most of the day. Minnesota coming into the year ranked in the top 25, and then at Georgia they led for a total of seven minutes in that game. Ended up losing by nine a couple of weeks ago. Turner turns it into two, and Bowling Green takes the lead. Fan. Shot clock at five. Wiggles his way in. Floater in the lane goes down. Tied at 21, halfway through half number one. Wiggins working on Diggs. Driving it home with the right-handed hook shot. Span. Took a European step. Tompkins from three, off the bounce. No good. Cummings, good look down low to Coke for two. And Upstate has seen enough. Bowling Green out to their largest lead of the afternoon. It's a four point advantage with 9.19 to go in the first. And we will keep it right here. We'll tell you a little bit about Bowling Green. They come in 3-1 and one on the season. Some good wins on their resume early. They won at Drexel to begin the year. A loss to South Dakota at home. They beat Florida Gulf Coast on a last-second shot, 83-80 to 80 back on the 18th. And then the reason why those around the Bowling Green program told me that they would be hyper-focused coming into this one, they nearly... Dropped a game at home on Monday to a Division II team that won just four games last year. 
109 to 106 in overtime. They escaped what would have been an embarrassing loss at home. And sometimes you think Bowling Green coming to a Thanksgiving tournament in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina might not be 100% locked in, but after the scare early on in the week, they have shown that they are ready to come here and put together a three-game win streak. Three from Tompkins. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Tompkins drains it. And Bowling Green's lead cut to one. Upstate slipping into a little bit of a matchup zone. Wiggins finds the Turner. Good save in by Tompkins as he keeps it alive. Here comes Upstate looking to take the lead. From the corner, Cunningham can't connect. Turner, been fairly quiet in the first half. Finds the trailer, Fox, who gives it up. Kept alive and back to Turner. Stripped by Span. We'll stay with Bowling Green. Media timeout. We might be done by this one by 6.15. There has been just one foul called between the two teams, and both teams shooting the lights out. Both teams 10 of 18 from the floor. A good one here in the final game of the day at the Creek Classic. The running of the Bulldogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. This is where heart rules hype. Where adversity turns to fuel. Where challenges? Challenges where challenges are embraced and limits are pushed. This is what happens. This is what happens. When hard work, hard work, hard work meets fearlessness. This is where bonds are unbreakable. And excellence is earned. This, this, this is, this is the Big South, where winners are made. Some Bowling Green. Fans have uh, made their way. It would be a long way if you're coming uh, by car. USC Upstate just four hours. Bowling Green is way up north, just 30 minutes south of Toledo, two hours to the west of Cleveland. But they have some representatives here. So they don't get down this way too terribly much. And boy, we have seen a good start to this game. It has flown by number one. I mean. We are at just about 20 minutes of real time as we are 12 minutes into this game. Upstate shooting 56% from the floor. Bowling Green shooting 56% from the floor. One foul called between the two teams, and it's not like the officials are letting them play. This has been a fun free-flowing game to watch thus far. A tight one. First game of the day at the Creek Classic went into overtime. This one close so far. Wiggins and one. DiMaggio Wiggins looking good so far in this game. He is four of five from the floor. He's got nine points looking for ten. Nine points tied with Fry to lead BG and all scores. Can't get it to go. And it stays a three point lead for Bowling Green. A weave up top. Moore on the move, scoop shot, banks home. Pretty from Malik Moore, he's got five. Upstate will stay in that zone coming out of the timeout. Hey, 
Fox finds Coke at the free throw line. Back to Turner, he's open for three, short. As Turner cannot connect. Turner did not play in Bowling Green's last game. He has just two points. Goes down from Moore and upstate, back in the lead. Caldwell at the top. Step back, lets it fly. Wiggins cleans the glass in traffic, has the ball knocked out of his hands. Upstate the other way, Span running the break. He'll stop, pop for three. Too strong, maybe a little too ambitious as he was falling right when he let that one go. Fox says, why not? Yes, sir. What a story he is. Started his career as a walk-on. He's played in 75 games. They finally gave him a scholarship last year, the 6'4 senior out of Ohio. We have had three ties and now seven lead changes up ahead to Turner to build that lead to four. Upstate will take a timeout. And we'll keep it right here. Taking a look at Upstate, they are fairly familiar with this arena or at least playing Campbell. So the history goes like this, USC Upstate. As they transitioned into Division I in 06 and 07, they were in the Atlantic Sun Conference, where at the time Campbell, the host school, was in the Atlantic Sun Conference in 2011, when USC Upstate became a full Division I program after five years of transition. Campbell went into the Big South Conference, but the announcement was made just last week that USC Upstate will go to the Big South Conference. It's a much better fit for a team that's in the middle of South Carolina. So they will be very familiar with this arena over the next couple of years as an old conference foe becomes a conference foe once again. Those two teams will play on Sunday. Holmes misses the long jumper. Bowling Green looking for their largest lead of the day. Wiggins couldn't get the gimme, but Plowden plows it home. The true freshman, a top 100 forward coming out of high school, according to ESPN, two-time All-State, and he shows his hops there. Six-point lead for Bowling Green, their largest of the game. Span was looking for Tompkins, who wasn't looking for the ball. Smith and Cunningham will come in as Upstate tries to find an answer here. Under five to go in this quick-moving first half. Plowden. Returns the favor. Nice assist to Wiggins. Give Wiggins 11 to lead all scores. And it's an eight point Falcon lead. Tompkins. The Georgia native can't connect. Wiggins pulls down another rebound. Caldwell, warp speed, too hot for Fry. Bowling Green will turn it over. That will bring us to our final media timeout of the first half. Bowling Green leads by eight, 3.57 to go. First half, day one of the Creek Classic. Back after this on the Big South Network. Not many people would test 100 pans to find the right one for a golden brown crunchy pan crust. But Colin did. Now you can try any Papa John's pan pizza baked to perfection for just $10.
Welcome back to the Campbell Classic in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. A bowling green run as the Falcons up eight, the largest lead by either team today. Chris Amire here with you. Anna and the crew providing you the pictures on day one of this three-day round robin tournament. This is the first time Campbell has hosted anything like this since the 90s, the Coca-Cola Classic, which was held at a neutral site down in Fayetteville. So a good chance to bring some programs together from different parts of the country. They usually don't get to play each other. We have Big South, Atlantic Sun, Southland, and Mac in Bowie's Creek for the weekend. There's Wiggins. He leads all scorers with 11, the big fella for Bowling Green. A little bit of trouble with the clock starting not on time when they came back. Tompkins to inbound. Almost thrown away. They'll go down low to Smith. Smith and to travel outside. Six turnover for Upstate in this first half. We have had just two total team fouls called in this first half. No fouls called on Bowling Green. Caldwell directs traffic. Upstate will stay in the zone. Plowden. Back to him. Good ball movement. The hook goes down. Great ball movement that time for Bowling Green. And this lead now at 10. Three ties, seven lead changes, but a lead and a double digit lead now for the Falcons. Tompkins. Smith. Won't go down. The ball turned back over to Bowling Green. Upstate trying to find an answer. They'll bring Fry into the game. A Bowling Green team looking to start 4-1 and one on the season with a win here. That would be their best start since the 2014-15 season. Caldwell. Too strong. Three black jerseys there for the rebound. Tompkins brings it down. Moore, he's eighth in the Atlantic Sun in scoring, has been quiet so far in this first half. Down low, Tompkins is fouled. The first foul called on Bowling Green in this half. The foul on Plowden. And free throws for the first time today, Tompkins. Rims in. Tompkins had 26 points against Charleston Southern. He was 8 of 11 from 3 in that game two weeks ago. 6'7", 202 pound senior out of Georgia. One of eight children. He's got five brothers and two sisters. This is a USC Upstate team. We told you about the late coaching change because of health reasons. The Top assistant promoted to head coach, but that was on October 2nd, just about a month before the season started. Last year, too, this was a very different team as they had a seven-footer in Michael Buchanan last year, so they really worked inside out. Now they're more of an outside shooting team, so trying to find identity after they had one of the tallest men in all of college basketball on their squad. Nice lob underneath, and Wiggins drops it in. He is having himself a first half, 13 for DiMaggio Wiggins. Back to a 10-point lead for Bowling Green. Four, Tompkins for three. Fry finds himself underneath the bucket. Reverse layup doesn't go down. It'll stay with Bowling Green. 
Under a minute and a half to go in this first half. Somehow, Wiggins on the great feed from Caldwell. He'll get fouled and go to the line. Diggs called for the foul, his first. It's the third team on Upstate. And Wiggins to the free throw line. 73% free throw shooter coming in. Averaging 14.3 points per game, 6.3 rebounds. This is a Bowling Green team that can score. Defense has been their problem so far this year. Bowling Green averaging over 87 points per game but they are allowing nearly 86, three and one coming into this contest today. Free throw goes down. Nine point Bowling Green lead. A minute 15 to go in this first half. Bad pass Cunningham. Plowden, contact and two. 11 points as Bowling Green starting to open things up now before the halftime break. Holmes, he's bumped and fouled. Deion Holmes, he had 24 points off the bench in Upstate's last game. That was against non-D1 Payne College. One of two players in South Carolina history back in high school to score over 3,000 points. Moore comes back in, 51.2 seconds to go. Tompkins says why not and hits it again. He's had a couple of threes from that corner. Eight point game. Shot clock with about a 13 second difference. Upstate looking for a stop and a score to make it a little more manageable before halftime. Turner has other ideas. Plowden keeps it alive. Upstate brings it out. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds to go in the half. Looking to cut it to six or five, depending on the denomination of the shot. Span working on Caldwell. Span. Finger roll, doesn't draw rim. Two seconds. Turner, the floater. Yes! Before the halftime break. A potential four-point swing. Span had a look at a bucket, couldn't finger roll it in, and on the other end, Turner does this. A flurry for Bowling Green after Upstate had whittled the double-digit lead down. Back to double digits as we hit halftime in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. It's Bowling Green 46, USC Upstate 36, halftime. Coming up next, you're on the Big South Network. Listen, we've all got to make choices. If you're hungry and you got five bucks, you could eat this stuff that the meat, bean, cheese, randomizer kieroed into a box. Taco Guacarito Supreme. Or you can get a real meal with a charbroiled double cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, drink, fries, and look at this fresh baked cookie. So it's a choice, I guess. <laughs> The $5 All-Star Meals. There's four of them, and there's no better way to spend five bucks. Only at Hardee's. What's the Big South? It's our home. Our home. Rooted in excellence. Built from hard work. It's our backbone. An undeniable will driven to surpass our potential. It's our heart. And unbreakable bonds. And our journey. Striving for more. Determined to lead. Day in and day out. This is the Big South. Where winners are made. And it's game on, fourth and 18. Friends rushing the party in under an hour. Super Mom's headed for the snack aisle. Ooh, this one's a scramble. It's all come down to this. Look at that air. She's got it. And there's that signature double pour. Crisp chips, crunchy pretzels. This crowd's gone crazy. We did it, honey. Best party ever. Yeah, we did it. Us go for the glory. As a mother of three, I've seen the positive impact sports have on kids. 
At Dick's Sporting Goods, we believe everyone should have the chance to play. And if cost ever gets in the way, that goes against everything we believe. So we're stocking new gear at lower prices and introducing the best price guarantee. If you find a lower price from a competitor, we'll match it. Because it's not enough to offer you the best gear. We need to offer it at the best price. Welcome back to Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, as game two of day one of the Creek Classic has Bowling Green leading USC Upstate 46 to 36. This was a close game for the majority of the first half. There were seven lead changes, three ties, then a run went on by Bowling Green, made an 11 point lead. And we sit in double digits as Bowling Green leading USC Upstate 46 to 36. Both teams shooting lights out. Bowling Green 58% from the floor. USC Upstate 52% from the floor. Both shooting around 50% from three. As Upstate is six of 12 from beyond the arc. And Bowling Green five of 11. Lots of fun highlights to show you. We'll have first, first half highlights when we come back. After the break, about 11 minutes away from the start of half number two, it's Bowling Green 46, USC Upstate 36 here on the Big South Network. At Bojangles, you won't find a microwave. Instead, you'll find master biscuit makers mixing flour and buttermilk, rolling dough, and hand-cutting biscuits before they go in the oven. You know what else you'll find at Bojangles? you'll find integrity. That integrity comes from hard work. And with all due respect, punching a microwave button isn't hard work. Head to Bojangles for a Cajun Filet Biscuit combo with your choice of fixin' and a drink. Bojangles, it's bow time. You'll feel the pride. Hello, this is Matt McClam with College Seeds. One of the great things here at College Seeds is our meat department. In our meat department, we cut meat fresh every single day. We don't put preservatives or hormones in it or cut it out of state, ship it on trucks like our competitors do. So here at Carly Seeds, we have a professional, such as Eric, which cut it every single day. So come to Carly Seeds and try the best meat in town. Thanks for shopping. Hi, I'm Mike Minter, head football coach at Campbell University. Come out and support this great football season that we're about to embark on. It is going to be unbelievable fun. Now, if you need a truck, you need a car, come see Big C and my friends at Dunn Benson Ford. Southeastern Interiors has everything you need to make that remodel job or new build something spectacular. From the latest styles of carpet, ceramic, hardwood, laminate, and blinds, Southeastern Interiors has it all. Stop by 228 Airport Road in Irwin or call 910-893-8486. Southeastern Interiors, turning your dreams into reality and helping the fighting camels reach theirs. Welcome back to Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. Game two of day one of the Creek Classic around Robin Tournament. Abilene Christian beating the host, Campbell, in overtime in game one. And we have had a heck of of a game number two. This was very, very close until Bowling Green pulled away. And a look at the highlights. Both teams shooting lights out from the early going. Bowling Green and USC Upstate trading haymakers early. We had three ties. We had seven lead changes. That is a little bit of a preview of what to come. Span was good early as Bowling Green shooting 58% from the floor, upstate 52. Avery Diggs with his first start of the year for upstate to give him a little bit more size, but things were working inside and outside. Plowden hit for Bowling Green. He gave him some good minutes off the bench. Holmes did the same thing. 11 Bowling Green uh, bench points and Bowling Green down five early. But a big reason why they came back was because of Dylan Fry. Fry caught fire. He hit three threes in succession. 
And Bowling Green was able to even things up. And it would stay even until about halfway through the first half when Bowling Green would go on a run. Fry with a nice dish underneath. Wiggins, six of eight from the floor. 15 points and six rebounds in 14 minutes to lead Bowling Green. Coke had two, Caldwell with three. Dylan Fry had nine points. Justin Turner with six points in that first half. Fox with three, Plowden with eight points off the bench on four of five shooting. For Upstate, Moore with seven. Tompkins with 11, he had three triples in that first half. Diggs with six, Cunningham with three. Span with seven, and Holmes with two. Upstate getting a bucket from Holmes. That was the only two points that their bench would score in that first half. Points in the paint, Bowling Green 22, Upstate 12. Bowling Green committed just three turnovers in that first half. Upstate finished seven, and Bowling Green turned those into 12 points. So 12 nothing in the points off turnover battle. 12 fast break points to none for Upstate, and that is your difference in the game. First ever meeting between these two teams, Upstate trying to even their record to three and three. And Bowling Green trying to go to four and one, which would be their best start since the 2014-15 season. Not a lot of free throws in that first half. Nobody's in foul trouble. There are only five fouls called between the two teams. No single player has more than one. Turner hit that at the buzzer, and keep a note of that. If this becomes a close game, remember Spahn had a good look at what would have been a layup to cut the Bowling Green lead to six before the halftime break. Instead, he came up short, and Bowling Green converted on the other end. Upstate two of two from the free throw line in that first half. Bowling Green three of five. We'll give you the schedule for the rest of this tournament and get you set for the second half. A good one here on day one. It's Bowling Green 46, USC Upstate 36 halftime in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina here on the Big South Network. This is where heart rules hype. Where adversity turns to fuel. Where challenges. Challenges. Where challenges. Are embraced. And limits are pushed. This is what happens. This is what happens. When hard work. Hard work. Hard work meets fearlessness. This is where bonds are unbreakable. And excellence is earned. This. This. This is. This is the Big South. Where winners are made. Running of the Bulldogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. to make choices if you're hungry and you got five bucks you could eat this stuff that the meat bean cheese randomizer kieroed into a box taco guacarino supreme or you can get a real meal with a charbroiled double cheeseburger spicy chicken sandwich drink fries and look at this fresh baked cookie so it's a choice i guess <laughs> the five dollar all-star meals there's four of them and there's no better way to spend five bucks only at hardy's Welcome back to Bowie's Creek as we're about three and a half minutes away from half number two. Taking a look at the first half stats. I mean, both teams shooting the lights out. As we said, the difference in this game are turnovers that have turned into points. 12-0 in 
the point off turnover battle is pretty much the uh, difference in this game, but 58% from the field from Bowling Green, 52% from Upstate, but those turnovers, seven for the uh, Spartans and just three for Bowling Green. It's gonna be a fun weekend here in Bowie's Creek as we take a look at the rest of the schedule of games coming up. All these games will be here on the Big South Network. Same times, same place, different teams playing each other tomorrow. We'll start off with the Campbell versus Bowling Green. That'll be a two o'clock start. And then the late game in the day, five o'clock, Upstate takes on Abilene Christian. One o'clock, time change for Sunday. Abilene Christian and Bowling Green will go at it. And then the final game of the tournament, 4 p.m. on Sunday as Campbell takes on USC Upstate. Abilene Christian beating Campbell in overtime in the first game of the day. A good one. Campbell had to have a three with time ticking down to force it into overtime. But Abilene Christian coming all the way from West Texas getting the win earlier today. Half number two coming up after this on the Big South Network. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's got to be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor, Zaxby's. SNS Entertainment is a local company that provides inflatables, concessions, games, and more for birthday parties, company picnics, school events, and church outreach programs. If you would like more information, log on to their website at snsentertainment.com or call 910-890-6339. SNS Entertainment, making Campbell Game Day even more memorable. Nestled in the pines off of Highway 421 near Lillington, you'll find a great golf getaway at Keith Hills Golf Club. Experience three different nine-hole courses, perfect for personal practice or a round between friends. Just a short drive from the Campbell University campus, Keith Hills brings you a unique golf experience, beautiful vistas, and great memories. Bring the clubs over to Lillington and try Keith Hills Golf Club. Call for a tee time today at 910-893-5051. Southeastern Interiors has everything you need to make that remodel job or new build something spectacular. From the latest styles of carpet, ceramic, hardwood, laminate, and blinds, Southeastern Interiors has it all. Stop by 228 Airport Road in Irwin or call 910-893-8486. Southeastern Interiors, turning your dreams into reality and helping the fighting camels reach theirs. We are set for the half Number two, a spirited start to this one. Bowling Green trying to go to four and one. That would be their best start since 2014 15. The three and one start is already the best start of the tenure of Michael Huger, their head coach. And again, so happy for him to be back on the bench for the Falcons. He was a two time All Mac performer for this Bowling Green team back in 1989 to 93. He averaged 12 points, 3.3 assists, and then he turned that into a 12-year pro career in Europe. Down low, you could tell that one was drawn up at the chalkboard at halftime. Fry finds Wiggins, and Wiggins puts it in. He's got 17 points on seven of nine shooting. He has been good, to say the least. A 12-point lead. Cunningham stops and pops and hits. He's got five. Both of these teams shooting over 50% in the first half. And it hasn't been that the defense has been bad, just both offenses have been that good. Fry with a turnover. That's just the fourth turnover of the game for Bowling Green. Cunningham, nifty move up top. 
and the fadeaway does everything but connect. A whistle underneath. Fighting for the rebound was Koch. And he gets pushed. That's the foul on Holmes. It's his first, team's first. Now Upstate showing a little bit of pressure here. Caldwell will bring it up. He started 11 of his last 12 games of the year last year and has started everyone here as a sophomore. Turner deflected to Coke. Good look, cross court, Caldwell can't get it. Board cleared by Tompkins. Upstate quickly, more foul. We had one foul called the first eight minutes and change of the first half. We had a couple here in the first minute and a half. Upstate shot just two free throws in that first half. Moore will go to the free throw line. He is eighth in the Atlantic Sun in scoring coming into this one, averaging 15 points per game. He rattles that free throw home. He has shot more and made more free throws than anybody else on this team. 64% on the year. Moore's free throw goes down. The Bowling Green lead at eight. Upstate had a lead as big as five in that first half. That was at the 14-10 mark, and then Bowling Green went on a run and created the separation. Fry, three of his first three from beyond the arc. He was a big reason Bowling Green ate up that deficit. He's been cold since. Holmes hits. We talked about how Holmes was that prolific scorer. He had two 60-point games as a senior in South Carolina. One of just two 3,000-point high school scores. It's a five-point game all of a sudden. Seven-nothing run by Upstate over the last 130. Coke can't get the roll. Upstate. Span. Good look, Holmes. Nice move over Coke. Can't get it. Wiggins clears the board. That's his team leading seventh rebound. Fry. In and out. Tompkins with the board. Span. Holmes pushed back by Coke this time. Span. Good ball movement. Moore can't connect. Holmes hits it to Coke. Coke with the rebound. Caldwell on the run. Coke, good look. Wiggins will go to the free throw line. Wiggins at 6'10", averaging 14.6.3 boards. There's Coke with the good look to the other big fella. Coke stands 6'9", Wiggins 6'10". Bowling Green trying to snap a three-minute, 12-second scoreless stretch. And they do. So Upstate with a 7-0 run gets back in this one. First ever meeting between these two teams. Wiggins off the back iron. And now a substitution. Jeffrey Uju. 6'7", 220-pound redshirt junior out of Boiling Brook, Illinois. Played two games last year and then injured for the majority of the year, was granted a redshirt.
And now they adjust the score as Wiggins just did make one of two. And so back to a six-point Bowling Green lead. Cunningham in front of his own bench. From the corner, span every part of the rim and out. Turner. Charge. Caldwell got up in the air. He saw Fry in the opposite corner. Couldn't get the ball to him. Caldwell's first foul, it's the team second. Just five total team fouls called in half number one, four here in the first four minutes of half number two. You kind of expected it so. Good move, Holmes, but he's blocked. Uju got him. Cunningham can't connect. Span. Keeps it alive for Upstate. From the right side, Holmes, no. Uju, yes. Caldwell, Turner. Pass too hot, knocked out of bounds, and that'll bring us to our first media timeout of the half. Bowling Green, 49, but Upstate keeping it close. 15.31 to go in the second half here on the Big South Network. The running of the Bulldogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. What's the big sell? It's our home. Our home. Rooted in excellence. Built from hard work. It's our backbone. An undeniable will. Driven to surpass our potential. It's our heart. Unbreakable bonds. And our journey. Striving for more. Determined to lead. Day in and day out. This is the Big South, where winners are made. Both of these head coaches have some pretty good connections with some very well-known coaches. That's Michael Huger, and this is his third season. Again, he has had to kind of get his own guys in there, so now they're saying all but a couple are his guys, and they're showing by the three-and-one start. So how about this? At 12, he was a Bowling Green Falcon, two-time All-Mac, and then he played 12 years as a pro in Finland, Holland, and Belgium. He was a Dutch League MVP in 1996. He came back to start his coaching career two seasons as an assistant at Longwood, and then his coach at Bowling Green when he played, Jim Larinaga, who was at George Mason. He went as an assistant to George Mason and followed Larinaga to Miami. Of course, Larinaga doing great things at both schools. And he got the job back at his alma mater. And here in year number three, looking to go to a four and one start. They've already beat Florida Gulf Coast, who was picked to win the Atlantic Sun Conference, a conference that USC Upstate is in. In this, their final year, USC Upstate will join the Big South next year. That announcement made just last week. Tompkins, no. A foul on the floor. And they're gonna get Bowling Green. This is a Bowling Green team with some early NCAA success. They've been to the NCAA tournament four times, but the last time was 50 years ago in 1968. Bowling Green has had a basketball team since 1915. They've been to the CIT two times. And last year, really in the second year under their head coach, they had snapped a bunch of streaks and put some demons 
to rest. They snapped a six-game losing streak to Toledo, their nearby neighbor and rival, and a 17-game losing streak to Akron. Both of those snapped last year. This is a Bowling Green team you saw improve last year, and you are definitely seeing a very improved start to the start of this season. USC Upstate, though, hanging around. Both teams growing cold. Plowden. Turner can't get it. The Bowling Green bench wants a foul. Upstate wants to chip into this lead. Bowling Green hasn't scored in nearly three minutes. Corner, Tompkins, it's a one-point game. Tompkins, 4-3 of the game. He's got 16 to lead Upstate. And it's a one-point game. Bowling Green forced to take a timeout. We'll take one, two, 13-39 to go. Bowling Green seeing their halftime lead of double digits evaporate to one here on the Big South Network. Not many people would test 100 pans to find the right one for a golden brown crunchy pan crust. But Colin did. Now you can try any Papa John's pan pizza baked to perfection for just $10. USC Upstate in the middle of that pile is Kyle Perry. Now, now Perry has a connection to a well-known head coach as well. So Perry played at Georgia Tech in 2001. He played for Bobby Crimmins. He didn't get to see the floor very much, but he was a three-time academic All-American. He has, as he was promoted to head coach after eight years in an assistant, Eddie Payne stepped down on October 3rd for health reasons. Eddie Payne is well known and out around these parts. He was a successful coach at East Carolina, a place where they haven't had much basketball success, 91 through 95. He went to Oregon State from 95 to 2000, let go of that job, but then came to USC Upstate and really helped them go from a Division II team to a Division I team. We hope his health is improving, but the first week of October, he said he couldn't go anymore. He's still around the program. He still helps out, but he knew he couldn't be the full-time head coach. And the Crimmins connection, as Kyle Perry hired the nephew of Bobby Crimmins on his staff after he was promoted to head coach. And his USC Upstate team responding to his halftime adjustments. They could take the lead. And Will with an acrobatic layup. That is Cunningham putting it home. And it's a lead for Upstate. A 7-0 run. Block underneath. Diggs. Upstate. Holmes. Stripped. Good defensive play underneath. Bowling Green needed that. No field goals. In the last three minutes, 38 seconds, they're 0 from 9. Fry ends it with a three to give Bowling Green a two-point advantage. Fry hits the three, his fourth of the game. He hit his first three from the field and then was 0 for 4 from beyond the arc until that triple goes down. We have seen some good, tight games here in the early going. Day one of the Creek Classic. Cunningham, nasty move. He puts in points number eight, nine, and 10. Back and forth we go. Upstate with a one point advantage. 12 minutes to go. Fry hits Fox. Coke, good pass, good look. Wiggins for two. He's got 20. 
Koch with his second assist of the game. Good passing by the big fellow underneath. Diggs, why not? Fox from the corner. Diggs with the board, three on two. Span, nice bounce pass in the Tomahawk. Holmes with an exclamation point. Upstate is up. 12th lead change of this game. And a 10 point Bowling Green halftime lead, a distant memory. Coke. Holmes starting to feel good. Malik Moore loses it off the foot. Timeout on the floor. 10.47 to go. We've got a good one. Upstate 55, Bowling Green 54 from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. This is a Creek Classic on the Big South Network. It's hard to enjoy tailgating when you're stuck cooking. At Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue, we have everything you need to get out from behind the grill and join the party. Get the tailgate special featuring a pint of Carolina-style barbecue, eight pieces of chicken, two pints of sides, two dozen hush puppies, and a gallon of fresh brewed iced tea. We even sell bags of our chewy ice for just $1.99 for a 10-pound bag. Come to Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue for all your tailgating needs. Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue. When we decided to buy a house, we just had our second kid and getting ready to start the season. And that's when we decided to, to get with Christy. She showed us a bunch of, of really good houses in a short period of time and, and helped us to make a good decision. Being able to get us in those homes in a time that was convenient for us was huge for me. You know, at the end of the day, it's not about how many houses I sell. If my clients achieve their goals, then I'm successful too. Welcome back to Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. Some acrobatic moves. Boy, that was a tough shot by Cunningham. And then some good passing underneath. Three ties, 12 lead changes, and a thunder jam. Holmes on the All-Sun freshman team, and you can see why. So what was a 10-point deficit for USC Upstate in halftime, quickly a race, and we have ourselves a ball game. Bowling Green will play Campbell tomorrow in the first game of the day at two. Upstate will take on Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian beating Campbell today in overtime. That game will be at five, both those games, right here on the Big South Network. Here we go, buckle up. Span thought about it from way downtown. Instead, Puts up an awkward layup, and the ball will stay with Upstate. A good look at Span on the U18 and U20 national teams for Slovenia. His brother plays professionally in Europe. Tompkins. No. Wiggins, rebound number nine. He is a rebound away from a double-double. Coke down low. Coke blocked. Diggs getting his first start of the year. He has provided some valuable minutes. Moore somehow gets it to fall high off the glass. I don't think he was looking where he was shooting. Turned over. Back to Upstate with a three-point lead. Look at that, another look at it again. Moore came in in the top 10 in the Atlantic Sun Conference in scoring. That was an acrobatic, points number 10 and 11. Span, too tall. Upstate turns it over for just the third time in the second half. Bowling Green just offenses dried up. They're just two of their last 14 from the floor. 
find himself down three. Nine and a half to go. A Bowling Green team coming into this game averaging 87.2 points per game. They'll get it back to their money man, Wiggins. Looking for contact, can't get it. Moore. Plowden with a good block out. Plowden says why not. Not the shot he wanted. Span runs into the rebound. And Plowden sends it into the first row. Look at Plowden out of Philadelphia. Swing man that can play inside and outside. He was a top 100 forward coming out of high school, according to ESPN, two-time All-State from the state of Pennsylvania. Three-point upstate lead. Cunningham, yes! Cunningham in the next month, he will become a 1,000-point score for this upstate team. That was a big two there, and it's a five-point lead for upstate. Turner left alone. Wiggins. And a lid, literally on the bucket for Bowling Green. No points in the last 341. They have scored just eight points in the first 12 minutes of this second half. They had a 10-point halftime lead. Fry ends it. Did they need that? Fry has given him the buckets to get back in this one. He's got five threes, 15 points. Back to a two-point upstate lead. Cunningham, tough shot. Plowden secures. Turner to tie. Plowden has been fighting, and it'll stay with Bowling Green. When we have come back, a good one from the creek, 7.29 to go. Upstate lead shrinks to two on the Big South Network. Listen, we've all got to make choices. If you're hungry and you got five bucks, you could eat this stuff that the meat, bean, cheese randomizer kieroed into a box. Taco Guacarino Supreme. Or you can get a real meal with a charbroiled double cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, drink, fries, and look at this fresh baked cookie. So it's a choice, I guess. <laughs> the $5 All-Star Meals. There's four of them, and there's no better way to spend five bucks. Only at Hardee's. The running of the Bulldogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. What a day one it's been here in the creek. Gosh, we've had some good games. Abilene Christian in overtime. Beat Campbell, the host, 85 to 80. That was a game Campbell had to have a late three in that game just to get it to overtime. This one looks like it may come down to a final possession tomorrow. Campbell will take on Bowling Green at two. Upstate and Abilene Christian go at five, and then time changes on Sunday, one o'clock for the Bowling Green and Abilene Christian game. And Campbell and Upstate will end things at four o'clock but Upstate getting hot offensively and Fry ending what was a three and a half minute drought. There's been a couple of those in this half. And Bowling Green has let Upstate back into the game. That was a bad pass. And Holmes 
makes them pay. Points off turnovers. Upstate got none of those in the first half. Four point upstate lead. Wiggins. Fry, the floater, off the glass too strong. The big fella digs with a rebound. He's got six boards. Span, a steal. And the two teams turning it over back and forth. Wide open from the left wing. Burying the three is Caldwell. The Dayton, Ohio native. Double figures in his last three games for the first time in his career. He's got six here today. Holmes. Wiggins with the rebound, his 11th. Wiggins with 20 points, 11 rebounds. Caldwell almost runs into his own player. And it'll be time for three the old fashioned way. How about that one? Take another look. Caldwell almost runs into the back of Plowden. Instead, hits it, much to the delight of the end of the Bowling Green bench. And Upstate will take a timeout. We'll keep it right here. Bowling Green, we talked about their long history. They've been around a while. Bowling Green, it's a state university in Ohio. Founded back in 1910. They've had basketball since 1915. 1,352 wins. They're a big school, like most of the MAC schools are around 20,000. Their enrollment, 19,000. They opened up a new basketball arena, the Stroh Center, in 2011. When they go back home, they'll play their 100th game there. It reminds you a lot of what is down here in Bowie's Creek, Gore Arena in its ninth year, but you come in and there's a concourse all the way around, and then you come down to your seats and to the floor. They seat a few hundred more, but a very similar arena setup in Bowling Green. It's a two-point lead. Bowling Green survived a desert-like drought from the floor. And with six minutes to go, they lead by two, trying to go to four and one for the first time since the 14-15 season. Span. To Cunningham. Good look, couldn't get it. Foul on the floor, they're gonna get BG. Plowden with the foul. It's his second. Bowling Green's fourth. Neither team into the bonus in the first half. Neither team near the bonus here in the second. Six nothing run by Bowling Green has given them the lead. For two and the tie. Tompkin drains it. 18 points for him to lead Upstate. And we are tied for the fourth time today. We've had 13 lead changes. Bowling Green led by 10 at halftime. Upstate led by five in the first half. Contested but goes down. Caldwell with his third three. Double figures for the fourth straight game. And that was a big one as Bowling Green leads by three, five minutes to go. Cunningham, the step back, tough shot, doesn't go, rebound on the other side, more and one. Moore gets it, what a follow. Take another look, flying through, gets it in pinballs between two Falcons. So more to the line to tie. 
and does. Moore a little shaken up on that play. You could tell before he went to the line, he signaled that he's going to need a breather at the very least. Tied up at 66. Caldwell out front. Upstate slips into a matchup zone. Plowden draws the foul. Digs his third foul, the fourth for Upstate. So Plowden will go to the free throw line. Plowden came in just one of five from the line. Averaging 7.3 points, 5.3 rebounds. And he looks smooth with that free throw stroke. Bowling Green just a 69% free throw shooting team. USC just 70% here early in the season. Gets it. And Plowden in double figures with 10. Bowling Green's lead at two. Shot clock under 10, game clock at four. Corner, Holmes, way off. Plowden with a big board. Tough shot, good finish, Turner. A three-star recruit under, out of Detroit, Michigan, played in four games last season, blew out his hamstring and was granted a red shirt. He scored 33 points in the opener against Drexel this season. That was the most ever by a freshman. And the Stripes are going to talk about it. And that's the final media timeout. They talked. And it'll stay with Upstate. When we come back, it's Bowling Green 70, Upstate 66. Another good finish here on day one of the Creek Classic. Coming up after this on the Big South Network. This is where heart rules hype. Where adversity turns to fuel. Where challenges. Challenges. Where challenges. Are embraced. And limits are pushed. This is what happens. This is what happens. When hard work. Hard work. Hard work meets fearlessness. This is where bonds are unbreakable. And excellence is earned. This, this, this is. This is the Big South, where winners are made. Triangle Orthopedics is now Emerge Ortho, proudly serving as team physicians for the Fighting Camel. Joining three other orthopedic practices across the state, Emerge Ortho has the goal in mind to help you emerge stronger, healthier, better. Emerge Ortho has the best trained physicians in general and specialty orthopedics, including orthopedic surgery, sports medicine, rehab medicine, rheumatology, general surgery, bariatrics, physical therapy, and MRI. Now offering offices from the mountains to the coast. Visit us at EmergeOrtho.com. Emerge Ortho. Emerge at the top of your game. Well, we talked about how Upstate is in a little bit of transition. They were founded in 1967. They were a junior college branch of the University of South Carolina. They went to a four-year degree school in 75. They were known as USC Spartanburg. That time, they were the USC Spartanburg Rifles, named after a revolutionary troop around that time. In 2004, they changed their name to USC Upstate. They changed their mascot to the Spartans in 06, 07. That's when they transitioned to Division I. They had eight NCAA tournament appearances as a D2 team. They were in the CIT in 13 and 2015. Their enrollment 6,000. So it's been a fast rise for a team that was D2 not too long ago. Trying to beat a Mac school today. Tompkins with a tough shot. Plowden was there for the good defense. Don't know if that's what Upstate wanted coming out of the timeout. Three and change to go. Bowling Green up four. Long two, no good. Rebound underneath Diggs. They'll feed Tompkins. Back to Diggs. 
big fella can move a little bit. They find him down low for the easy two. Diggs is 6'10", 260, but he doesn't move like it. My goodness. The lead is shrunk to two. Fry waiting to check in for Bowling Green. Coke to Caldwell. Three goes down. Didn't touch rim. Caldwell has caught fire here in the second half. He's got 15. Four threes. It's a five-point lead. Moore tries to match. Cannot. Diggs with the board. Two minutes to go. Cunningham again. No. Bowling Green gets the ball back with 155 to go. Bowling Green so cold, ice cold, and now the call's been reversed. And they're going to go to the monitor. Bowling Green led by 10 at halftime. They led by as many as 11 in the first half, and they went ice cold for long stretches. They had scored just eight points 10 minutes in to the second half, and they had had numerous dry spells that allowed Upstate to get back into this ball game. We'll take a look here. It looks like it should be Upstate's ball. That was a tough bang-bang play. It looked like it went off Coke. Good work by our video crew. Bowling Green has gotten hot at the right time, however. They have hit five of their last six. Wiggins with 20 points and 11 rebounds. Fry has 15. Plowden has 10. Caldwell has 15. Bowling Green is 10 of 20 from beyond the arc, 48%, 5 of 10 in the second half. Upstate. They are shooting just 37% from the floor in the second half, three of 14 from three. There's another look at it. And they get a little bit different angles than we do. So we'll see what they come up with. They're gonna talk about it. Patrick Harwood, Kellen Milliner, and Martin Spencer are our three officials today. And they're going to give it to Bowling Green. So a big call is Bowling Green sitting on a five-point lead. Upstate doesn't have to foul yet, but they need to stop. Also, too, we talked about the foul situation. Upstate with just four team fouls. They have to foul a little bit even to get Bowling Green into the bonus. Shot clock at 10. Caldwell. Big bucket. Wow. A couple of huge threes late. It's an eight point lead. Span, good look underneath. Span, contested, does not go down. And Span just one of five from beyond the arc today. He came in in the top five in all of Atlantic Sun in three-point field goal percentage. So Bowling Green heating up when it is counted down the stretch. They let USC Upstate back into this game. Upstate had a lead late in the second half. But a 6-0 run and now six of the last seven from the floor going down for Bowling Green. And again, Upstate has to foul a couple more times just to get him into the bonus. That was just team foul number five. That'll be number six. 
and they'll need one more before we start shooting free throws. 54.3 seconds to go. And Fry hit hard by Span. Looked like nothing but feelings hurt there. And Fry will go to the free throw line. Fry's a 73% free throw shooter. And now Bowling Green trying to make this a free throw shooting contest and ice this one. So Bowling Green takes on Campbell in the first game of the day tomorrow at 2. Abilene Christian and Upstate will go at it at 5. Both those games here on the Big South Network. Fry hits it. Second free throw, Fry goes down. 10 point lead under a minute to go. Upstate needs some shots up in a hurry. Span can't get it. Kept alive. Three free throws. Fry beside himself. And Holmes with a chance to get three here with the clock stopped at 43.2 seconds. Holmes has USC Upstate in his blood. Both of his parents played at Upstate. His dad, Elliot, is 10th all-time on the scoring list. We talked about the prolific scoring that he did, over 3,000 points in South Carolina. That's only been done by one other high school. And last year, he was, two years ago, he was on the Atlantic Sun All freshman team. Upstate going to the Big South Conference. It just is a much better fit than the Florida and Tennessee-based Atlantic Sun Conference. They said the first year they're in the Big South, they will add 12,000 more classes, as in 12,000 classes their student-athletes will gain because of the travel time that they used to have to go with in the Atlantic Sun, still have to go with in the Atlantic Sun. A lot less class time missed. And Caldwell will go to the line for Bowling Green. Caldwell misses. It's an eight-point game. More. And they're going to go back to the monitor to look at something here. 36.2 seconds, it's a six point game. And Bowling Green with the ball. USG Upstate this season, lost at Minnesota, lost at Georgia. That was a 74-65 game. They led seven total minutes in that game. And then Upstate has beaten Allen and Payne College, two teams that are non-D1s. They lost at home on the 18th to Charleston Southern, a 10-point loss to a team in the Big South Conference. Fry is fouled and will come down for a couple more free throws. Two 
two possession game as we speak. Still a ton of time left, 35.6 points. Other basketball scores from the MAC. Cornell at home beat Toledo 80 to 77. Indiana 87, Eastern Michigan 67. Coming up tonight, seven o'clock starts Mount St. Mary's at Ohio. Kent State is at Valpo. Important free throw for Fry, and he drains it. Looking for point number 19, he gets it. Fry has had a good night, five threes. To the hole, the lay-in goes down. Bowling Green gets it up to Fry, so. Bowling Green content with trading two for twos. And Upstate will have to try some trifectas the next couple trips down. That is the fourth foul on Span. One of the best three-point shooters for Upstate. Fry gets it. Fry now with 20 points. That matches the 20 that Wiggins has put up. Four in double figures for Upstate. All the way to the hole. That was a big miss. Trying to trade two for one that time, and Holmes couldn't get it. And now Turner to the free throw line. He's a 71% free throw shooter. Turner gets point number nine. He had been the leading scorer coming into this game, 19.7 per game. He did not play last game. He gets that one to go. Nine point advantage. And desperation time now for Upstate. It'll stay here. With 12.2 seconds to go. 20 for Fry, 20 for Wiggins, 10 for Plowden, 18 Caldwell, and 10 for Turner. Bowling Green. Led by 10 at halftime, they're going to win this game by possibly double digits. But boy, in between, a heck of a fight put up by Upstate. Upstate with a lead late in the second half. They came all the way back from a double-digit deficit, but didn't have enough at the end. Bowling Green cold for the majority of the second half, but got hot when it mattered. They hit six of their last seven from the floor. And they end up with an 83 to 74 win. 20 points for Wiggins, 20 points for Fry. Over on upstate side of thing, Tompkins with 18, including four threes. Moore had 16, Cunningham had 12, Holmes had 13. A couple of good games here today. Can't wait for day two. Bowling Green turns right around. They'll take on the host Campbell at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Upstate will wait until another 5 o'clock game. They'll take on Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian beating Campbell in overtime today, 85 to 80. That'll do it for us on day one of the Creek Classic. Thanks for joining us. Final score for game number two. It's Upstate 74, Bowling Green 83. The Falcons off to their first 4-1 start since the 2014-15 season. They'll try to go to 5-1 tomorrow against Campbell, the host at 2 o'clock. Until then, I'm Chris Amar for my entire video crew saying so long. Have a great Friday night. We'll talk to you tomorrow.